make sure to like the video, subscribe and press the bell icon. Hey friends, today in this video, you'll learn how to create a complete to-do list app with CRUD operations in JavaScript. CRUD operation means to create, read, update, and delete. If you don't know, the to-do list app is a list of things that need to be done or want to be done. This app is generally used to maintain our day-to-day -day tasks list. Okay, without further delay, let's back to this project. Let's see how this app works, in this section you can add a task let's type something, for example I want to type the list of items I need to buy. Write Apple. And press the add button or press enter to add the item to the list. Next I type orange. And press the add button. Just like that I type banana and press the add button. Now my list is done. At the top we have filters for our list at the moment we are in all, let's check the pending filter and as you can see it filters the list and display only the tasks which are on pending let's jump back to the all and check some tasks which means this task is done or in this example it means I bought this item. Let's check pending. As you can see the two other item which has been done is no more in the pending only the items which are not done will be appear here. Now let's check completed and here you can see the list of tasks I have done. Let's jump back to the all. If you want to edit any task you can do it very easily just click on this three dot button and select edit. Once done you can edit your task and click add or press enter to save it. If you want to remove an item you can click on this three dot button and select delete. You see the task has been deleted. If you want to delete everything from the task list. Just click on this clear all button. And it will clear everything. If we add a lot of item in our list. The list automatically recognize that and after some space it displays scrolling and we can scroll the list. Let me just add few random items and show you guys this functionality. So here I have added few random items. At the right corner you can see scrolling bar and you can scroll to check the list of items. Let's clear our list. One more thing I have to I have to remind you guys is this app is fully responsive and if we resize it you can see it adjust itself to mobile size. So I'm sure you guys learned how this app works now let's see how I made it. This is our project folder inside it we have four file. I will talk about each in a moment. The first file is bars icon.svg which is the icon we used at the left corner of our input box. The second file is index.html. Inside this file we have the basic HTML5 structure. First we imported the style.css and icon scout library. Inside the body is our app structure. We used on click event on our add button and it runs this add function. This section is for filters. And this section we used O for our list. At the bottom of the code we linked our script.js file. Our next file is style.css. In this file we first imported the Google library and we applied some BIOS design to our page. After that we applied design for each of our HTML elements. At the bottom of the code we used at media max width 2 and inside it we changed size of wrapper and some other elements to make our app responsive. Our next file is script.js which is the most important file. Inside it first of all we selected our HTML elements by using query selector and put them inside JS variables. Here we made some important variables which we will use them later in the code. We use JSON parse to get the to-do list items from our local storage, because every task in this app will be stored in our local storage. After that we used for each for our filters as button and inside it we used event listener of click on the buttons and it runs this function. Which first select the active span and remove its active class and later it add the active class to our button. Which means on each filter button we click it add the active class and that shows we are on that specific filter and at the end it runs this show to do function with button ID parameter. 
After that we have show to do function which pass the filter parameter. Inside the function we set an empty value to the Li tag variable. We use if to dose is true or we have something inside our to-do list we run this block of code. We use for each on our to-do list with the to-do value and ID. Then we make completed variable and equal that to to-do.status which is equal to a one-line function if completed it says checked if not empty value. After that we use if function inside that we use filters equal to to-do status or filter equal to all which checks which filter we selected after that we put this block of code inside leak tag variable, which is our to-do list. First we use Lee with the class of task after that we put a label for ID. We use input of checkbox with the ID and status. After that we set a paragraph with class of completed and to-do name. And after that we make a div with the class of setting and here we add two things which does the edit and delete jobs. First we add an option to show the menu on this one. Then there is our two options which first one run the edit task function with id and to do name as parameter. And second one runs delete task with id and filter as parameter on click. If there is nothing on the to-do list it change the inner HTML of task box which is equal to lead tag or this message, you don't have any task here. We select the task by class on task box and put it inside check task variable. After that we check if the check task does not got a length we remove active class from the clear all button or if it has a length we add an active class to our clear all button. Which means if there is a task our clear all button will be active if not it make it inactive. After that we check the task box height if it's more than 300 px we add overflow class to the task box if not we remove that class. That's how our task box get that scrolling ability once it reach some height. And once this function is done. We run it on the app startup. After that we have show menu function with the parameter of selected task which comes from this section of the code. Inside this function first we set it to parent element of last child and put to menu div variable. After that we add the show class to the menu div. And we use event listener of click and run this function. Which is job is to hide the menu once we clicked outside the menu. Otherwise the menus will always be show. After that we have the update status function with the parameter of selected task which once again comes from this section of the code. The job of this function is to update our task. So which this function is run first we select the task as parent of last child and put it inside task name variable. After that we use if function to check if it's checked or not. If this one is checked it add the checked class to the task name and set the to-do status with the selected task it to completed. Else if that's not true, we remove the check class and set the to-do status to pending. Once done we store it in the local storage. After that we have edit task function with the parameter of task ID and text name which once again comes from this section of the code. So this function set the edit ID to task ID. And is edit task to true. Then we put the text name to the task input value that's how we can edit it, we also focus on task input and add an active class to our task input. This is the delete task function with the parameter of delete it and filter which also comes from top section of the code. Inside this function first we set the is edit task to false it means we are not going to edit this thing. Then we splice the to do with delete id1. That's how we delete the task and later we set it to our local storage and we run show to do function. In this section we use event listener of click on our clear all button. Inside this function we set the is edit task to false. And by using splice we set the length of to do to zero which means we clear everything from the to do list. And save it in local storage and run show to do function. In this section of the code we use event listener of key up on our task input. This section of the code is used to add or update the task with pressing enter to our to-do list. 
So inside this event first we get the value of task input and trim that and put it inside user task variable. Then we check if enter key is pressed on the user task. After that we check if we are on edit task or no we are going to add a new task. So if we is edit task is not true. We check if to do is true we set it in array. And we make an object array and set name to user task and status to pending and put it inside task info variable and then we use push to send it into task info. And else we set the is edit task to false and set user task to to do with edit ID and name, which this section is used for editing if we are about to edit the task this section does that job. Okay once the edit or set the task check is done, we set the task input value to empty. And after that we save it in local storage as JSON stringify of to dose. And after that we run the show to do function with parameter set as select the active span of ID. What it does is it load the tasks with the new one or update one once we add that item or update that item without needing to refresh the page. And at the end of the code we have the add function which will be run by add button. This function does the same thing we did on the last block of code. This function is used to add or update the task with pressing the add button. So inside this function we first we get the value of task input and trim that and put it inside user task variable. And we does the checking same as before and at the end of this function we save the task to local storage and after that we run the show to do function with parameter set as select the active span of ID which refresh the list. And that's all my friends, I hope you learned something and if you like this video make sure to like, subscribe the press the bill icon.